Hello everyone, this is Sushan once again wishing you a very happy morning. I made uh, this video after one week of using uh, DaVinci Resolve uh, and along with I'm using Luma Fusion for past 5 years. I see a very big hype in iPad video editing that DaVinci Resolve is on iPad. Okay, so I tried out and test out uh, and I want to give my experience and my review about these two uh, beautiful softwares which will be very good in 2023 nowadays if you see many many people are trying very different different video editing app they switch from desktop to mobile mobile to uh, ipad touch video editing and nowadays touch video editing is very much easy and faster as compared to desktop video editing app if you tell me to use this mouse and keyboard I will be much slower because I can mu edit much faster uh, using this pencil and using my fingers okay this video much review from the touch users perspective okay I am not going to compare mobile editing versus desktop editing apps here we are uh, talking about mobility uh, that is the future and we can how we can edit on go editing with using your more smartphones and iPads or any mobile devices okay so let's talk about the both the application Luma Fusion and DaVinci. From my point of view, Luma Fusion will be the best video editing app in 2023 from the touch users perspective. Okay, I have written some plus point why I choose Luma Fusion, not DaVinci Resolve. Luma Fusion is much precise video editing app. Uh, whether you want to create a documentary, interviews, you can create very professional quality content using Luma Fusion. Okay. Uh, the first thing is Luma Fusion is both available for mobile and iPad. Okay, means you can use it on iPhone, Android, and iPads. You can keep in your pocket whenever you need. You can edit it. Okay, that is the first thing. And DaVinci Resolve is uh, on iPad, and uh, and older iPads are not capable of running DaVinci properly and luma fusion can run on older ipads very smoothly you can edit 4k footage very nicely and smoothly that is another point here is the main point that i like it very much about the luma fusion that is luma fusion timeline if you see the video editing timeline of luma fusion it is very well designed they have thought of a uh, touch users perspective and they have designed it stores nicely you can simply zoom in zoom out you can scroll the timeline very nicely left to right using one finger two fingers you can just tap two fingers to split the clip you can see the gestures are so beautiful and well designed if you talk about the uh, timeline of the da vinci even if you enable all the tabs in uh, ipad still i found it's very much difficult and they have just translated that DaVinci Resolve Mac OS application to iPad OS. They have not think from the touch users perspective still it's lag. So that's why Luma Fusion timeline is very much good and you can much uh, you can edit much much faster. Okay I, I will say that it's my five years of experience whatever you see on my channel that I have edited on Luma Touch that is Luma Fusion okay. That is a third drawback of DaVinci Resolve that timeline is not so good. Okay. Even you can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, uh, you can pinch like this and pinch out. But the way Luma Fusion timeline works, it's absolute buttery smooth. And anyone can edit. Even a small kid can watch a video and edit on that particular Luma Fusion app. Okay. In Luma Fusion, you will see very. Uh, less lag or very less crash okay uh, still it's a new application in ipad davinci resolve is very much new to ipad it crashes so many times whether you edit uh, using your hard drive or edit using your inbuilt uh, space okay it crashes so many times uh, but you can work it uh, if you are very much familiar with that but if you are trying to switch from the luma fusion getting trying to edit in davinci resolve so it will be very much difficult for a luma fusion user or any touch user okay so that is uh, another point and here i found that you cannot export 
to 4K. In DaVinci Resolve, you cannot export a video to a 4K. Okay, that is the uh, another drawback of uh, here. That is the point. You can uh, edit 4K and you can export it 4K on the Luma Fusion. That is a very plus point. Here now, let's talk about the color grading. In the color grading, the DaVinci Resolve is very well designed for that particular subject. Okay, uh, as we talk about Luma Fusion, you will not get so many uh, high grade color grading tool, but you are going to get a very professional tool in Luma Fusion 2 and it's very easy. I did test of both the application here. You can see the right now uh, the footage is color grade using Luma Fusion. I have used same settings in DaVinci Resolve on the both the side. You can check and compare whether you found any differences or not. I have my own collection of LUTs that is very much suited to my dark skin. So I every time use that LUT. Okay, so I try to apply both the LUTs, uh, same LUTs on Luma Fusion and on DaVinci Resolve. Absolutely, I found no differences, I will say. Uh, so I will prefer to do color grading still in uh, Luma Fusion instead of spending hours and hours uh, in DaVinci Resolve because after applying LUTs and little bit of saturation and contrast, you can achieve very good type of color grading and I will give you one pro tip in 2020-23 don't spend much time in color grading just focus on creating content nobody is going to see how you color grade or they just want value and content okay just if you are getting paid that much means you are someone is give, giving you a thousand dollars for editing a video five thousand dollars two thousand dollars for editing a video that time you can spend that much of time to produce the content other than simply use the LUTs that is much enough to produce a very good content okay now let's talk about uploading part you can simply upload from luma fusion to youtube that feature is also available in davinci okay but here I found some problem while exporting uh, using DaVinci Resolve that is uh, when I export that will be in 1080p okay H264 or you can export ProRes if you are using ProRes but I found that when you export from DaVinci Resolve and try to upload a reel on Instagram something makes changes means uh, your picture will be dull or it will uh, downgrade the quality. I don't know what happens. I try to figure out. There are no more such uh, advanced export setting till now. But in Luma Fusion, when I export from Luma Fusion to Instagram, absolutely fine everything. But I when I try to export from DaVinci Resolve, colors change uh, after uploading a reel to Instagram. I found this common problem. But nowadays, everyone is trying to produce content each and every platform so i found luma fusion is a very good choice for the video creators uh, in 2020 23 okay that's all for today's video i found that luma fusion will be a very good choice and and davinci resolve is a very good app but i will say it should be improved from the touch user's perspective like we are using iPad not a keyboard or mouse uh, no one carries keyboard or mouse in their pocket we can carry our pencil and iPad so let's see how they are going to optimize this from the touch user's perspective and Luma Fusion also lacks some of the features that there are some I hope they will give some plugins features so we can save the preset or we can do a quick transition text editing it must be improved okay uh, i hope luma fusion is listening and they will improve the application i love the luma fusion very much and davinci resolve is a perfect desktop video editing app till now but it's now translated to ipad os and it is a very good app let's see how it will perform in the futures update uh, and how we can use both the application to make our content beautiful and how we can produce much faster okay i hope you found this video useful then give a big thumbs up share with your friends see you very soon in the brand new video
Till then, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.